Hello! Well, fresh from the shores of the land of the rising sun, we have two brand new. Now, I don't know if you pronounce it EZO or EZO, or if you can even see, but these are brand new Japanese bearings. They were like nearly five pounds each. I'm going to try them in the motor and see if we can't get this to make a lot less noise. So, allow me to reassemble this motor with its new bearings. Here we are, set up my super high-tech science bench. Now these are on the new bearings and if I set it anywhere it doesn't want to tip over so I'm going to assume it's fairly well balanced. It does feel nice and smooth but it's kind of hard to tell because it's not attached in its bearings and it's quite happy. But it seems to spin all right. All right, let's rebuild it into the motor housing heater thing and put it all back together. Oh no, let's just rebuild the motor and then run the motor and see how it looks. And not looks, but see how it sounds. Okay, let's rebuild the motor, so. Not gonna lie, folks, that feels pretty much the same way as it did before. But let's set it here up on our little bed and uh, plug it into the power supply and see what happens. Uh, I've lost my pins. Well, I've not lost them, I guarantee I've swept them on the floor. Uh, not, not entirely convinced there, um, let me just replicate what I had, how I had it before, which is, I can't, I can't really tell if that's better or worse. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of pretty much just sounds like the same to me. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to rebuild it. And then see what happens, back in its housing, All right, okay. Okay, um, I take it back. So it's currently at five volts. Oh no, yes, yeah, 5 volts, give or take, and 1.3 amps. So that's, I don't know, it's like 75%. I don't think this runs at full, the fan runs at full 12 volts, because it was pulling like 3 amps, and there's, I've never seen it pulling 3 amps. So, it's definitely quieter than it was before, but I don't know that's because I'm now sitting it on the bottom and you can't hear the intake and the exhaust. So, this is why you can hear the intake and the exhaust. But I still think it's quieter. You've got to remember your intake and your exhaust will be outside your vehicle, so you won't be able to hear them in it. So, so it sound it should sound more like this. But it does just sound like a fan running now, which is what you want. Whereas before, I think it had a really annoying a vibration noise, like a like a vibration noise, like a, a rrrr, it sounded like a diesel. Ha, I know it is a diesel, but well, let's take the voltage up a bit. So it still just sounds like a fan running. And I'll take it all the way down. So there's like three volts. Oh god. Now the power supply is louder than the heater. 
God, fuck. Shut up, Persia Black. Right? It's destroying less than an amp now, be quiet. Anyway, but okay, if you, again, if you pick it up, you can just barely hear. I'll stop talking. The inlet and the exhaust. Which is fine, because they would be outside. So, it would appear that taking out the bearings that came with it, throwing them in the trash, and replacing them with much better Japanese bearings has made it a lot quieter. I'll turn back up again. Now it just sounds like a fan running a box. It's not got that annoying noise, the vibration. Well, that's good. Let's call that a success. So if you have one of these heaters, and it is noisy, and you're prepared to take it apart, it might be worth uh, swapping out the motor bearings and making it a bit quieter. Because for, well that was like £10 for two actual Japanese EZO, ESO, ISO, whatever you want to call it, Japanese bearings. Seems to have quieted it down a great deal. So I'm happy. Right. On to something else.